Is it recording? Yes, it is. Recording. All right, so we're for business analytics. This is first class, this is first lecture, and this is what it looks like. So, what is business analytics? First of all, it's using data. You use data. Second, you use some technology, something like a computer, something like software, something like SPSS, something like Excel. So technology will include the hardware, maybe you can even do it on your phone these days and tablets will have that thing. Okay, there's a possibility that you may get the free software even on your tablet and run it on a tablet. Okay. So, information technology will use both the hardware, as a laptop or desktop or telephone, okay, and software, as an Excel. Next thing is statistical analysis. Statistical analysis is the subject, the science of statistics. So, you use the software, you use the subject, okay, and you may also be using quantitative methods like optimization, okay, programming, linear, nonlinear uh, programming, and so on. And use of models. So when you're doing business economics, you usually model. The model usually has some inputs and some outputs. And the model represents about how the real world works, okay? So a model will have an input, you're gonna do something with the data, and then you're gonna have an output, okay? And the goal is to understand your business and to make better decisions, okay? so that you can run the business better. In other words, take the data, take the technology, take mathematics and statistics, make it in a nice model, get the results, interpret the results, and then make a good business decision to improve your business. If you're running a business, the business is, uh, the goal of the business is Maximize profit. profit. Make more profit. All right. So, examples that you can use business analytics will be number one: pricing. Okay. You will set the prices. Do you set it high? Do you set it low? Uh, for example, the movie theater. What hours are busy, you will put a high price. Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday, high price, right? Morning hours, low price, okay? Late night hours, 10, 11 o'clock, low price, okay? So, business analytics help you to set proper prices, again, to optimize revenues and profits. Number two, Customer segmentation. What are the different customers? Locals, foreigners, men, women, iPhone guys, Android guys. Okay? So you try to separate the market. Young men, old men, right? It could be Merchandise, determine the brands, the quantities, how much to buy, how much to order, how much to sell. Uh, if you're a big store, when to have a sale promotion, price promotion, okay? When to have credit. Something else, location, where to put the store, how many stores, okay? For example, got a coffee shop, a coffee brand, 
what was the coffee brand name? Brown coffee. Brown coffee. Well, where to put it? How many? Three in town. Ten in town. Hundred in town. <coughs> oh, how many in the neighborhood? Okay. Well, oh, how big or how small? Okay. How many chairs? How many seats? Okay. This is all about location. And of course, what you do with social media. Y'all are experts on that, right? The big one, Facebook. So, what's the history of business analytics? Well, back in the old days, it started and it was called business intelligence. Even in 2000, when I started, we still called it business intelligence. Business intelligence is being able to gather the data and make meaning out of it. What does it mean for us, for profits? Okay. Information system. Okay. Then you have the software system, the database systems. The trick was to put everything into a database. Database means organizing the data properly. So I got a proper organization and a proper structure. Okay. So getting the data was one thing. Okay. We call it data collection. Next thing is putting it properly together in a database. Then you throw in some modern statistics, okay? And that's what you did before in the statistics class. And that's what we're going to be trying to review and apply. And now you have, or back in the old days, this whole thing was developed as operations research. Operations research basically means that during World War II, you need to have a lot of guns, a lot of tanks, a lot of gasoline, food for soldiers. Everything has to be optimized. Everything has to be working. You can't have the soldiers run out of bullets or worse, out of food. Okay? So, this was the subject of operations research, which was how to run the army in the military appropriately. And then that subject was, over time, created into management science, how to run a business properly, efficiently, okay, successfully. And down the road, you have what will be called decision support system. You got a certain software, and a certain software is going to tell you what to do and how to do. Uh, Let's try a decision support system you may be familiar with is student evaluation of teachers, right? You go into the system, it is a system, okay? You put in your data, right? It collects your data. You say, oh, this teacher is good, this teacher sucks, right? So, you say, Pass, meaning excellent or fail, everyone gives their evaluation and then we look what the average is like. Okay, this teacher is getting high evaluations and based on that the decision is keep it. Okay, and this teacher is getting very low evaluation, the decision is send him back home. Okay. Okay, so that's a simple decision support system, okay? So, what is the business analytics about? You got some business intelligence systems. Basically, you gather information and you structure it in a database or a number of databases. Then, you have subject of statistics. You also have some mathematics, modeling, and optimization, and it's all in technology, meaning hardware, databases, software, maybe web, web application, okay? And a little bit, uh, they have it, and we'll talk a little bit later, is also called reporting. Whatever the data is, at the end of the day, you need a nice little page about, let's say, that teacher. How many students gave excellent, how many students gave good evaluations, and how many gave bad evaluations. Somehow you need to know how to present the data. Okay, let's see what else. So, what are the benefits? 
Well, you can lower costs. You can manage risk better. What else we got? Faster decisions, okay? You can take decisions almost instantaneously. You can report that it's clear what's going on, okay? Uh, better productivity, okay? Uh, and so on. You can see them. Challenges. What are the challenges? Well, the biggest challenge is people don't understand it. It's a brand new thing, okay? People have been eating food for millions of years, have been wearing clothes for thousands of years, but you got business analytics for 10 or 20 years. It's a brand new subject, brand new science. Most of old people have no idea about this thing. They can't comprehend computer software, smartphone, right? Let alone business intelligence and business information systems, okay? So learning, understanding is the first Second is, most people don't have any analytical skills, okay? They, they never study statistics, they never study computers, they never study any of that, okay? Next one is acquiring good data. Sometimes data that we get is actually junk, sometimes good, sometimes there are mistakes in the data, okay? And how to share the information, like, well, I got the syllabus, how do you get it, okay? Uh, we got the textbook, how do you get it? In other words, how do you share the information only with the people that have to see it, okay? Because the information may be very sensitive, okay? In other words, if it's a performance of the teacher, uh, usually should be shared only with management, okay? And let's see. So, what's the subject about? Well, for the first few weeks, which is what you've already studied in statistics, it's basic descriptive statistics and descriptive analytics. The first thing is you just see the data. You make a picture of the data. Show me the graph, show me the chart, show me the pie, okay? And some basic statistics to interpret. So all you do is describe the data. Well, that's how it was for many, many decades. People just barely describe the data. That's the easiest part, and that's also the quickest and sometimes the easiest to do, okay? You just see, basically, it tells you what is going on now or recently. The second part is called predictive analytics. Well, you want to Forecast, if we lower the price of this iPhone, how many more are we going to sell, okay? If we lower the price of the movie, let's say the morning movie from $2 to $1, okay? Would we get a lot more people? So you need to know to predict that now we're getting on average 35 customers in the movie theater paying $2, okay? If we lower it to a dollar, are we going to get 50 or 100? Okay? The difference is if you get 50, you're going to be losing money. And if you get 100, you're going to be making more money. Okay? So you want to predict if you lower the price to 1, what's going to be the outcome. So you want to use first to see what's going on. Second is to predict what may go on. And finally, prescriptive analysis to find out well, what's the best way to go on, okay? So, do we keep it to a dollar or do we keep it to a dollar, or reduce it to a dollar fifty? Or it's better to keep it at two or maybe raise it up to three. In other words, in the second is just predict what would happen and this is say, well, what's the best way? Let's see what else we got. And we usually have class for about 50 minutes, right? Okay. Well, a few more uh, slides and we're going to be done for today, right? So you can finish your bonus point, right? <laughs> okay. Database queries and analysis. So you got a database. The trick is how to get the data from the database. 
Here's a good example from my corporate experience. I was working in a major corporation. We got like 20, 30, 40 databases. One simple problem is people didn't know which base databases we have. Second, people had no idea what was in each database. They didn't even understand the contents of it. It took me over a year just to find out these are the databases, to find out where is each database, then to find out what is in each database, and then how to get data from that database, okay? It can take years for a person to learn in a large business, okay? And most people have no idea, say, oh, we have this information, really? Can you get this information for me, okay? Well, this function is what I did for six months in my job. It's called reporting, business reporting. In a business reporting, all you do is you're able to access the data and get the data and present the data, okay? You don't have a model, you don't have a prescription, you just get the data. That's a lot of times, you know, what most people don't know even exists. Okay, data visualization. Of course, they always say, well, oh, you gotta give me a bar chart, a bar chart, show me a picture, okay? Just throw in a bunch of data is no good. You gotta be able to see easily and understand, okay? And then you can use maybe statistical methods, maybe you could use later predictive models, maybe you do, I was explaining just five minutes ago, what if analysis. What if we lower the price of one dollar? We're gonna get 100 customers. What if we uh, lower the price to 150? Or what if we keep the price at two? Or what if we raise the Saturday night movie to $5, okay? This is what if analysis. You can do some simulation, that's very advanced, hopefully we get there. You can do some forecasting, hopefully we get there. Some data, can text mining. Uh, in data mining, you get so many data in a trying to look for patterns, okay? So, we'll with get to that, some optimization, and the last big new thing is social media. Basically, that's maybe five, eight, ten years old. All right, let's finish up to here. Let's see what is the slide. Can anyone will find out what the slide, this slide is? Okay, this is slide number nine, okay? So, next time, what someone will remind me, to continue from this slide and to finish the slides for uh, chapter one. Uh,